So you might be having an issue on your iPhone where for some reason the eSIM is just not working. Now this may mean that maybe you already installed your eSIM or maybe you already transferred it over and it's not working then, or maybe you're trying to set it up and it's not actually working out. So the first thing I'd recommend doing is if you have the option within your iPhone set of their options right here to click, which is just in settings and you scroll down to cellular right here. Once you go ahead and actually set it up, you should be able to see all that information right here. If you do not see any information like how I don't see anything here, that means your SIM card wasn't, you know, your eSIM wasn't transferred properly. So that means that's not set up which is a very easy fix. However, if you see everything here and you know, like your contact information, everything, and it's not working then, well, you will have to pretty much contact your cell provider and let them know that your eSIM is not working. And you will have to go and have that troubleshooted because it may be an issue with your, maybe your network, maybe your area, maybe your cell provider. So that's the first thing I'd recommend doing there. But if it looks like this, you wanna click set up cellular. And what you're going to wanna do here is you wanna go ahead and set this up properly with the iPhone that you're coming from. So if you're coming from an iPhone 13 and you're going to an iPhone 14, you will, if you already don't have a SIM card or eSIM, you will have to go and get that eSIM information either from your carrier or from your iPhone itself. However, if your other iPhone doesn't have that convert to eSIM option, you will have to go ahead and contact your provider anyway to get that eSIM. Now the eSIM, either you can transfer from a nearby iPhone. So if you have an iPhone with an iOS 16 or above, you can be able to transfer it. However, if you click back, the other option is to scan the QR code. So I don't know what's going on here. The other option you'll have is to scan the QR code. So right here, like we, sh like I've shown you before in other videos, you will be able to get a QR code with your eSIM. That is going to be your eSIM, you know, for the time being, your physical, is going to be your non-physical SIM card in a way. And you will basically just place it right in front of this specific camera right here, scan it, and you'll be able to go ahead and pretty much utilize your QR code as your eSIM. And from there, you can go ahead and go further. Now, if it's still not working, you can also enter the you know, information manually. This is another option that you have too. If that's still not working and you're trying to try it again, you may wanna make sure that QR code you were sent or that information you're sent, you're typing it in properly. You wanna make sure it's not outdated information. If that's still not working, you can try updating your iPhone because this is kind of new and a lot of people are doing it. You know, It's not a new technology, it's been here for a while, but since so many people are doing it right now, you may just wanna go and update your phone. So just click on general in your iPhone settings, click software update and try updating your iPhone here too. If there's no update, you can just try restarting your phone. So hold down the power button and the volume up button, power it off, power back on, and you wanna see if that ends up fixing it. So those are pretty much a few ways to fix it in my experience. If you have any other thoughts or questions, so let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.